Hello, this is Goku471. Uh, this time I will be doing a first thoughts on the new D uh, Heroclix DC set, DC 75th. And this, first of all, is I don't know much about the set. There are a few images out. So, I like doing first thoughts when there's nothing. When, when basically it's just my thoughts. It's not a lot of like, I know a lot of people like to do first thoughts when there's a lot of information. I don't like doing that because when you do that, you're basically pouring in knowledge. You're basically, you're giving thoughts to what you already know and not what you think you would like. And I think the, if more people did this, it would give developers an idea of what... I think it helps the creative process if you actually do it when it first comes was announced or early on in the process because I think it does really do help the process and all that. I did a Pokemon black and white first thoughts and a lot of people gave suggestions on how to improve upon the game and all that and I don't know if any of them are going to be taken into consideration because I don't know to what level to if anybody saw it but it did get some popularity and it is interesting to do these and to kind of find out and to see if you're right because it is theories but more on uh, more onto the video that at hand this will be like my web of spider-man first thoughts where I will be discussing the figures that have already been pre-announced and then from there I will be discussing what I want to see and what do, what I expect and yes so it will be very similar to that video and um, I will state this at the beginning and at the end of the video please leave a comment or a video response telling me your suggestions picks and what you want to see in the set and tell me if you agree or disagree I've um, I know that I had a lot last time around and I ex hope to get a lot this time around because I hope people will really tell me what they want I know that one figure that I suggested that I wanted to be in the uh, the Web of Spider-Man set and I was like they better have him but I don't know if he'll be in it was Carnage and everybody came at me and said oh Carnage will be in the set Carnage will be in the and then I know when Carnage came out and people were saying oh look Carnage is here so there is going to be a figure like that and I will get to it when I get to it there is a figure I'm nearly positive will be in the set but yet again people are telling me it might not be and it will upset me if it's not because it makes perfect sense for it to be there well, that will be a whole new discussion later on in the video so let's talk about our first previews and what we got and what I think okay now this is going to be using a lot of iconic uh, iconic images very much like what they did with the spider-man figure that they had is by it by the brick where they used the first issue of spider-man's cover as the sculpture or is the as the idea for the sculpture and they're gonna do very similar things in this set one is going to be the superman and this is an earth 2 superman they did for people that are not comic book fans out there essentially what happened was is there's this thing called crisis and pre-crisis before crisis happened there were these really really powerful characters the uh, the marvel character or the dc characters sorry dc characters i don't know why i said marvel were way too powerful superman batman supergirl well, superman being one of the big ones superboy being another big one and supergirl being another big one were these ultra powerful characters and then they could do ridiculous things like a friend was telling me that in one of the stories Superman was having a conversation with Lois Lane across the galaxy people were plotting uh, to beat him uh, to defeat Superman so Superman flies over there beats them up and comes back and continues the conversation across the galaxy and Lois Lane didn't even know he he went anywhere so things like that really made it kind of stupid but in this figure, it's actually going to be like really early on, I think. So I think it's going to be a weaker Superman. It might be the one that they did in the set of Origins, where 
they had the Superman and Batman, early Superman, early Batman, precursors Superman and Batman, where they were really weak, Superman couldn't fly, and other things, and it was basically, essentially, early Superman, early Batman, and their iconic, how they were back then. And I think this one will be similar. Hopefully it's at least going to be 150 or more. Might It might be a 200 point figure, but I don't think this version will be. I think it's actually going to come in at uh, very few points. Next is the Bane figure. Bane breaking Batman's back. It was in uh, the Nightfall story arc. It's very iconic. Uh, a lot of people know about this. And I think this is an incredibly interesting fig. We've not had a Bane since the original Bane. I don't know what set that was that I had. I don't own it. It was the same set as the first Poison Ivy. So it's about time for us to have a new Bane. Bane is a is an iconic Batman villain. But he's iconic for the wrong reasons, I think. Bane is one of these characters that people really don't know much about. I, I've noticed a lot of people don't really know much about Bane. Like, Bane, at least from what I've heard about Bane, is Bane's not a weak character, even without Venom. It's just Venom makes him super, super strong. And he's also an intelligent character. He's not, like, a big guy who's stooped. And he's also not, a, like, a... He's also not really a psychopathic character, or as psychopathic as a lot of other, other characters. So that's interesting. The next one is Sergeant Rock, I believe his name is. And he's quite of a very... Uh, I don't really know much about the character, so I'm just going to say that I'm interested to see what's going to be on his dial and how he will be. Well, let's go to the next one. Wonder Woman on the horse. That This sculpture looks cool. It looks very much like the Valkyrie sculpture they had in... Hammer of Thor. It's very interesting when they do stuff like this, and I'm really psyched to see what this uh, what this will have and what power schemes she'll have because Wonder Woman has had a lot of different power schemes over the years, so I'm I'm really intrigued. So next one is Doomsday. Doomsday is known for killing Superman. He's very iconic because he killed Superman. Uh, did I mention that he killed Superman? Oh wait, yes, he did kill Superman. So. He's very powerful. He's going to be probably a 200 plus point fig. But they've done one recently, so I don't know why they're doing one again. They did one in Crisis, so I'm kind of intrigued why there. It's probably because he is so iconic of a uh, Superman villain. This, I believe, is the third Doomsday that they've made. I don't currently own a Doomsday, so hopefully this one will be easy enough for me to get, because I would love to own a Doomsday. I think Doomsday is pretty cool of a character. But we'll see how he's like. Next on the list is a White Lantern Green Arrow. I know nothing about this, so I can just say, hopefully he's Green Arrow pop. And finally is White Lantern Sinestro. Yet again, I know nothing about the character, so I can't really state. I don't know much about White Lanterns, other than they're resurrected dead people. So, I don't really know what to expect from this, but we'll see. Okay, now, that's it for the figures that's shown. There is another figure out there. I don't have a picture of it, thus I know nothing about it, so I didn't mention it. You can go check on HC Realms to see the image. This video happened to be dragging out a little bit, so this will be broken up to two parts. This is part one. You can leave a comment or a video response in this part if you want to. Or you can do it in part two. I Fine with me. Uh, this second part is going to be what I want to see out of the set. I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm going to do a short opening and then I'm going to get straight into it. I'm not going to talk much about DC 75 this is part one of part two so expect it to feel like a part two video so this is Goku 471 and see you next time YouTube which hopefully will be very soon